Welcome back to Smoking Jay's Garage. Today, I am here with Christian once again. We are loading up this uh, Rhino. This is probably the ugliest gun we have ever seen. I think it's unique and kind of cool looking, but mostly ugly. She concurs it's completely ugly. So I have here for her three 357 Magnum and 338 Special. Three and three. I'm going to give it to her. She's going to try it out. We've never shot this gun before. I'm going to let her try it first. And we're going to see, we're also going to compare it to our regular double action. And let's see if shooting out of the bottom of the barrel really makes that much difference. Or out of the, the barrel off the bottom of the gun really makes that much difference. Okay. So whenever you are ready, I will get out of your way. So I just put... Another thing that I'm not sure is that at closer range, where is this going to shoot? Because the barrel is so much lower than the sight. So, take these out? yeah, so to take these out, we're just gonna eject these. We're gonna go ahead, we're not we're gonna do it on the ground because we're gonna pick them up, but they'll just drop right out on the ground. And I'm gonna load up one for me uh, while you tell me what you thought. Um, what did you think about the recoil? Could you tell the difference between the 357 and the 38? Yeah, so like whatever the last three shots were, were a lot more, there was a lot more recoil and it felt like there was a lot more kick to it. Like it felt more powerful, like if that makes okay, sense. Okay, so that must have been the, the 357. Yeah. Um, I thought, like, when we practiced pulling the trigger back first, I thought it was going to be okay, but then when I went to pull it every time, it was a lot it harder hard. than what I thought. Yeah. Okay. So, I feel like, um, there was a couple times where I couldn't keep my fingers secure enough, um, so I thought it was hard to, maybe it would have been better to pull this back every time, the hammer back up. Let's try one more with, okay. uh... With single pull. and then we'll pull it back. Okay. And the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to compare this also to our other double action and just see if shooting out of the bottom really makes that much of a difference. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Okay. I mean, you did fairly decent, actually. I got three in the bullseye, yeah, got, at least. <laughs> you got three in there. So we're, we're all clear. So I thought that there was definitely def less recoil. I could definitely feel the difference between the 38s yeah. and the 357, which obviously I anticipated. But now let's see side by side. Well, let's, let's, let's pull you a couple in there and let you shoot them single action. Okay, I can't pull it back with the hammer. Oh, wait a minute, no. Okay. Because I'm lining it up to shoot out of the top. It shoots out of the bottom. Oh, I'm okay. a gomer. So we're doing it wrong. Yes. Okay. Well, all yeah. right. So. Why does that look bad? Okay, now there should be one in there. There we go. Okay. We got to look at the other side. We got to line it up. Okay. We're dropping the hammer on an empty chamber. Okay. So let's try again. Oops. I don't know what just happened there. I hope that. Okay. That's totally know. my fault. Well, let's try again. Okay, now I pulled this back again, correct? Yep. And there should be one more in here? I shot one of them, so I think that's it. Okay. No, actually, that was much better. Okay, this... so shooting a single action, you liked better. Yeah. A much, I... much easier trigger pull. Yeah. Probably only like a three-pound trigger pull. Yeah. A on, lot, lot easier. single action. Like, if I, if I was a girl of this size and I was going to shoot this gun repeatedly, that's how I would want to do it. If you were a girl, I am that's a girl. what but that's what you wanted to in do. Sense of if you're a different girl with this gun shooting it. Okay, throw a couple of rounds in this one. I'm gonna give you 38s again. Okay. You want all six or do you just want three? Um, let's just do three. How would I give you all six? Just kidding. We're doing all six. Give this a go. Want me to try doing one without pulling it back? If you want to, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do with the last two? I'll be gal. I'll do the last two. You okay. All right. You're going right for the head. You're doing pretty good there. Nope. That's not what I was going for. 
going for. So yes, I can definitely feel the recoil difference. Yeah. And you you would concur? You think so as well? I agree. Again, with um, I think that this one is a lot easier to shoot actually. Like so, I thought there was way less recoil than using this one and having it come out the bottom. And then I also thought again it was easier to pull back the hammer every time. Maybe annoying for somebody if they're gonna shoot it a lot of times. I agree, this one definitely cocks easier if you're yeah. gonna shoot a single action. This yep. one actually cocks very hard. Yeah. Maybe because it's newer and hasn't been broken in yet. Uh, that might make a difference in the does future. It, does it have to do with like the hammer style too? Like look at how fat this one is. It may be, like, if you, you take a I mean? look at the difference here. Like that one looks like the size of a light switch. And the other one looks right, like you got a lot more, uh, a lot more ergonomically Correct to pull this one. So Yeah, like this one this one is a little bit more I feel like, which makes yep. it a lot easier. This one I had to put my thumb like all the way down and shoot, if that makes sense. Yep, I I agree. So if you're gonna shoot double action, uh, then it doesn't really matter a whole lot. If you're gonna go single action, definitely go with more of the traditional style because this one does not cock yeah. very easy. Yeah. Uh, is this a gun you would want to shoot off? No. I but you're glad you got to try it. I'm glad I got to try it, but I also, I didn't like the grip a lot. Um, and I also didn't like how much the recoil was. I prefer guns that don't have a lot of recoil, to be honest. So that's why I like this one a lot better. And it fit in my hands a little bit easier. I also thought this one, grip-wise, felt really weird. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it's, it kind of feels okay when you're holding it, but it's also very weird. It's, it's, um... I have very small hands, but it's very it's very small. It like, is it is very small. You know what I mean? And I have small hands, so for me to think that, then I think that somebody that's larger that has hands the size of yours would think that it's hard to grip as well. I agree. So we're not gonna trash it, but uh, we're, we're not, not very it. happy with it. I would say. No. We're not. Uh, so we just shot a couple more shots off camera. Uh, we got a little bit more. We like discussed it a little bit more. Yeah. And I think that we both concur. Uh, we originally thought that this one didn't really have less recoil, but after shooting it again, wouldn't you say that it's more of a push? Yeah. Uh, a lot I more know. of a yep. push back in your yep. hand versus a jump up. Yep. Compared to the traditional style, uh, a lot more of a jump up and, and less than a push. So yeah. uh, you can definitely feel it. Mm hmm. I, and it feels very similar in some ways. Yeah. But much, much more of a push in the back of your hand versus a jump over the top of your hand. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So we were kind of wrong on the, on our first thought about that. So uh, I'm glad we shot it a few more times. Yeah. And definitely, definitely a difference. Yeah. Definitely more of a push. Uh, another thing that we noticed that we really didn't like, especially because she prefers shooting it single action, yeah. is when you cock this hammer... It, it goes back forward. So you don't know if it's cocked or not other than, obviously you can tell by the trigger, mm -hmm. uh, but she didn't like that. I didn't and like I that. shot it mostly double action so it didn't affect me yeah. as much. But uh, this one, when you cock it, obviously you know that it is cocked and it is ready to go. Right. So do you have anything to add to that? Uh, no, that's probably it. Did you want to mention how we feel about the grips of it? The grips. Yeah. We both agreed that this grip feels really weird uh, and I know we've touched on that lightly the first time. Yeah. The grip feels very weird. Uh, this one feels a lot a lot nicer. It's a lot easier for both of us. I like this. We felt like... like uh, my hands have a place to go. Yep, the fit. finger grips in it were definitely a lot easier. Yeah. And it was a lot more comfortable to hold on to. Yeah. So there's something to keep in mind too. So. You watch this channel for the first time and you haven't already. And you want to. A boom. Hit subscribe.